And we're back, fellow knife and outdoor gear enthusiast. C and Jaw. Just draw. Here with the next installment of AK Blade. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. How about you? Um. This time around, we've got new carries from Boker. Sweetie. Acta non verba. And Revo. Revo. Yeah. Let's not keep the public wait wanting. So the first okay. knife we have here is the Civivi Elementum. Yes, just when you thought they couldn't milk it anymore, they found another udder. Okay, so this carry comes in three different options. There's a blackout, a jewel jade, and an OD green. So today we have the blackout. It is 7.06 inch overall with a 2.96 inch Nitro V drop point blade. Comes about 58 to 60 on the HRC scale. Options, along with the OD green, have the black stone wash finish while the other has a satin finish. Blades are about 0.12 inch thick, hollow grinds, and jimping. Operating on cage ceramic ball bearings. <laughs> Each blade is deployed with either the jimped flipper tab or button lock. Come on. There we go. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's nasty. Handle scales are G10. Either the black, oody green, or natural jewel J G10. So liners, screws, and tip-up right carry pocket clip are all stainless steel and have black finish on this option along with the OD green one. The Jade has gray finish hardware. All right. Of course, each button lock has a lanyard hole, comes with a pouch, stickers, and cleaning cloth. Pick you out a CBB Elementum 2 button lock for just $65 from AtlantaKnife.com. Well, I have to say the fit and finish of this knife exceptional opens well closes well pretty sharp good addition to the elementums okay now for the downside that has to be a downside you know that i wish they had done something a little different instead of making it a little smaller and changing the blade steel they still could have kept the elementum look and then made it a little more different than the other elementum button lock they did last year december october whenever hmm. they did it because they already have an elementum button lock well, Elementum could be its own brand. Ex at this I point, actually hear I they are collabing like... with Apple on an Elementum vehicle. Are they? Mm -hmm. It's going to look like an Elementum. Just like this. And yeah. then they're going to make another one just Wheels like this. Wheels are going to have with, button locks. But with gray windows instead of black mm -hmm. tinted ones. That's, that, that's two years into production. Oh, okay. Yeah. What, 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 about, what do you think? What about that? Space Elementum? <laughs> that company will put together bigger. rockets. Mars yep. Elementum. Let's, let's go outside. What do I think? Mm-hmm. You know, it's funny. I've seen this before. Have you? Yeah. I wonder where you, where have we seen this? It's a nice knife. You want an elementum? Get you an elementum. Yep. There is where we're at on that. That's where we're at. All right. Okay. Next, we have the Revo Nexus. Seven different colors. This ballet song by BRS is nine and a half inch overall with a four inch, 154 cm stainless drop point blade, which has a stone wash finish and operates on smooth ceramic bearings. Look at that. I know, that's nice. Handles are red aluminum on this model and feature a milled out pattern for extra grip along with heat treated steel hardware. Weighing just 4.8 ounces, this ballet song is perfect for any flipping occasion. Hmm. Yep. Made in the USA, starts at just 211.50 from inlionknife.com. As, as you handle. mentioned, there are other options. Yeah? <laughs> you said it out loud. Blue, black, and silver. All right. You go ahead. I go ahead. Yep, you go ahead. Wow. Just let it let it rip. Well, or I flip, mean... Let it flip. I'm not an experienced flipper. So, I don't really... I mean, I know what is needed to make a uh, good ballet song. This seems to have the characteristics and quality that you would want. I mean, you just have to use it in the... Yep. 
I, I think definitely See if you liked it. it's one of the more high quality ballet songs mm -hmm. I've come in contact. Very light something I think ballet song, uh, ballet song users usually look for. Mm -hmm. You want enough heft though in the handle so you can get the gravity to do the work, but not so hefty that, you know, pain more ways than one. Um, I've only practiced a little bit the past couple of years, but I have to say this model isn't bad. Most likely because BRS had a hand in making it. They make some of the best ballet songs out there. So mm -hmm. I would have liked, however, a lock. I feel like if you want to keep it closed, other than just putting it in your pocket, you're going to go wrapping this around it. And this is a $200 ballet song. You shouldn't have to wrap a rubber band around it. That's just my, just me. That's just what I think. So All right. with that, we're on to the Boker Hunter 2.0. Part of Boker's traditional series. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Yeah. I'm already excited. That's great. Now look, images may appear larger. <laughs> oh my God. The Hunter 2.0 comes in two options as of right now. Mm -hmm. Rosewood and Stag, we've got both. So these folders are each 5.25 inch closed. Yep. 9.3 inch when fully opened. Mm -hmm. Yeah. These pocket knives have both a drop point and a clip point. Each yep. made of D2 with a mirror finish. Yeah. And are open with an integrated nail nicks. Mm -hmm. Each slip joint has brass liners, nickel silver bolsters, and features, at least on this model, rosewood handled scales. Yep, so the other model mm -hmm. has genuine stag handle scales. Look at those. Yeah. Let's just look at that. Mm -hmm. So with these aspects, the Boker Hunter 2.0 gives a much needed update to this classic style of knife. Yeah. The size that. of that stag, the thickness. That's great. Case collectors right now are like, wow. wow. Wish I could get a case that had stag that thick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, took the whole animal to make that. <laughs> so each comes with a snap closure belt pouch. Yeah. Can't beat a snap closer belt pouch. It's made in Germany, but. Are you ready? Yeah. You can get one here in the USA from AtlantaKnife.com. Starting at just eighty two ninety five. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Uh, clearly, you want to hold the stag one, so that's wow. great. Wow. Hadn't even let go of it yet. <laughs> it's, it's great. That is tremendous got the tree brand written on it. Mm -hmm. Most people really like that, the tree brand on the they blade. They do, don't they? I don't like the mirror finish, but everything else. Yeah, see, I already have to reach down here to my shirt. I don't, yeah. Just to get that off of there. Yeah. I can't stand that either. But I also don't like my bolsters. So this is why I do not carry one of these. Because I constantly would be oh my cleaning gosh. it. It would drive me nuts yeah. to have Put things. your hands on the steering wheel. Stop cleaning the knife. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's not my burrow of monkeys. I'm not a big traditional pocket knife slip joint fan, but it's really, really nice. Very good collectible if you're into boker or traditional pocket knives. Even if you're in case, I feel like you would still like this. Hmm, I agree. All right. So nice. We are moving on. With okay. that, we've got a new knife from a new brand, Actinon Verba, on our table. But first, Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, as well as ring that glorious bell. All so you can be notified when we drop new content, and so you can be automatically entered into our giveaways. Speaking of giveaways. You got a giveaway? Yeah, we got the New Year of JP month-long giveaway event happening right now. So last week, we announced the beginning of the giveaway for this knockout of a knife, the Model 042. Ooh. Yeah. Handcrafted right here in the USA by Jason Perry Blade 443. Works. Nobody yeah. knows. So it is time to hand out this illustrious prize to none other than. I don't want to. You can give it away. Just give it away. Anthony Richards. Yes. Yeah. Anthony, Anthony Richards. That's great. Can we get a what? Can we get a what what? Come on. Oh, I got to do a double what? Yeah, like a DJ. Oh, you want me to put my hands in the air and what, say, what? What, what, what? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, pass. Hard pass. Congratulations. Make sure to email sales at landlife.com to pay your knife. If you're here, fantastic. Thanks for participating and supporting our YouTube channel. If you aren't here, then you missed out on an awesome video. Yeah, but you still get your knife. Yeah. But we'll still be announcing your name on other social media platforms just to get the word out. With yeah. that, it's time for the next JP giveaway. So, 
for the next week, you guys will be able to enter to win this model. 204. Nice. Now this is a nice, this is a high-end knife. It's a big knife. 1095 HC blade with black powder coating and textured black G10 handle. And this thing like 200 bucks? Mmm. Handmade right here in the USA. Mm. So, enter by liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing here on this video. That's it. Or by becoming an AK member. And you can triple your chances by answering these week's AK trivia question. Mm -hmm. Also, three. don't forget to follow Jason Perry on Facebook and Instagram. He really, really wants your support. Yeah. And you get to see all his unique one-off designs. Yeah. And there are a lot of them. Yeah, so details and links for all of that is down below in the description. Mm -hmm. Okay, with that, we're back to the Acton Nonverba A-Lock knife. Can't and beat that. A-Lock is one word, just so everybody knows. Mm -hmm. So, four options for this. There's blackout options in either L-Max or Magna Cut Steel. Or there's some purple options with either L-Max or magna cut steel mm -hmm. so we obviously have the purple with almax i like magna cut too yeah similar to the a200 the a100 a lock sports many features to set it apart from other folders first of all our first off it's 8.25 inch overall with a three and a half inch almax drop point blade a premium steel that's tough stain resistant and holds an edge for a very long time blade also has a flat grind plain edge and black DLC finish. Handle is FRN and sports a reversible tip-up wired pocket clip. Mm. Blade is opened with single-sided thumb stud. So there it is. There's also a black backspacer and of course the A-lock for blade disengagement. Finally there's a LumaDot inside the thumb stud which makes it easier to see in darker conditions. Luma what? A Luma dot. A Luma dot. Yeah, it glows in the dark. Hmm. Operating on washers, this folder was made in the Czech Republic. Czech Republic. And it's just 159 from AtlanticKnife.com. Yeah, so I'll go first. So this is an interesting design from a fairly, you know, new on the scene company. I mm -hmm. do think this knife opens well. And I love the fact that it comes in two high-end steels. Both are so sharp and they do last a long time. The one-sided thumb stud, mmm. It's okay. I do think the Lumen Dot is interesting. I think it's kind of similar to what uh, Glow Rhino did with Tri Tritium. Mm -hmm. They kind of put it in the handle, though, I think. Yep. And I like that they try to do something extra and something different. The handle, I don't know. What do you think? Mm. Well, it's not my color purple. I thought it would be a little darker purple, but that's okay. Um, I like the knife. I like the steel. The lock's okay. I mean, I like for you wanted to a locks to swing back and yeah, forth, but hey, doesn't you know what? Really, it is what it is. I like knives like this also. So, it's a good knife, nice price. I'd pick one up. There you go. Okay, go ahead next. Next, we have the Sabibi Midwatch. Hold on. Fixed blade. Safety's off. Four options: brown, black, green, and of course. Damascus. Thanks for the uh, pity laugh. I appreciate that. I realized afterwards. Uh -huh. I was thinking of a dad joke. I don't, oh, were you? We have the brown. So this fixed blade starts in at 7.54 inches overall with mm. a 3.39 inch bowler N690 clip point blade with flat grind and plain edge jimping. On this model, it has a silver bead blasted finish. Handle is the burlap brown micarta, though it does come in green micarta, black micarta, and black twill carbon fiber. Hmm. And, like always, the old other models range from black stone wash to silver bead blasted to black hand rub Damascus. Designed by Sabibi. This fixed blade comes with a black kydex sheath. Not doing it. A karambit styled ring, finger ring. There it is. Hold tea on. clip. There you going to get to the tea clip? It's, it's in there. Oh, it's in the back. Yeah. Cleaning cloth, stickers, and black paracord lanyard. Yep. Weighing just 2.5 ounces, this mid watch starts at just $109.90 from AtlanticKnife.com. Okay. Tell them what you think, see. Hmm. Here you go. Starts at $109. Mm hmm. Oh, I know why I'm going first. Because you know I've now had time to think about it. Mm hmm. All right. Here we go. This knife is out of the Sabibi price range. Okay. What was the steel on this knife? Bowler N690. Bowler N690. 
Oh, wow. Yep. It's Maybe a, I should just It's go. a nice knife. It's a fairly good medium-sized fixed blade, okay? I could see taking this places and not scaring the neighbors, if you know what I mean. On the other hand, I too think it's a touch too much for me. Especially sporting. Do you, you mean too N69. much knife? No, too much price. Oh, oh, oh. I would have liked a non-Italian steel for this price, something like S30V or maybe even 154CM. Again, that's just me. Some people really, really like this knife, okay? I've seen other reviews of it and talk about it. Did you get their names? It, it was a few different names. One of them might have been Civivi, but it's, <laughs> it's Civivi's knife. Oh, so. I bet it was the regulars. It, it's, yeah. it's the regulars, mm -hmm. yeah. If you just click down in their link below, you can buy it on Amazon and they'll get a 10% money back. It's good. I don't I don't know. All right. It's it's okay. It should have been lower. Like, yes. Like 69. I like the style. 79. I've seen it before. I mean. I like that, you know, you can see through it. There's no pins like or anything. You like that you can see Yeah, that's cool. That's different. It is different. So but it's just, dollars, it? it's a little too much. All right. Moving on. They're not all tens. Is that our final blade? Which one is it? This one right here. All right. The final blade for this week, it is the Civivi Foldis. Wouldn't hold my breath on this one either, guys. Well, I mean, it's got a good name. It does have it a good Foldis. name. Yeah. Three <laughs> options, Blackout, Micarta, and Kappa. We have the Blackout, so it's 6.37 inch when fully deployed and features a 2.67 inch Nitro V drop point blade. Gets better every minute. <laughs> Flat grind, black stone wash, and jimping. A whisper. Blade is open with jimped top flipper. Hmm, that's going to be interesting too. Yeah. While operating on a cage ceramic ball bearing, handles range from black G10, brown micarta, and black hand rubbed copper. So this double detent slip joint has black stainless steel liners along with black hardware and tip up left right carry pocket clip. Again, the finishes for these range from model to model so it, it will either have the black or the gray. Uh, finally, this O Stop L design comes with a pouch, cleaning cloth, and stickers. Oh, wow, slip joint. Yeah. All right, so. If you want, nab you a Civivi Foldus so yeah. you can adjust. $59.75 from blankknife.com. However, be warned, it's a top flipper. Now, I gotta say, I'm not really disappointed. It doesn't have a, a gem flipper tab, but. I'm not disappointed that it's a top flipper because you can easily. Mm. Just to recap, no flipper stud whatsoever. I'm glad you're okay, but I'm not. Oh, Why don't no. stop? Why? Why are you doing this to me? I didn't say I was okay. If they made this larger, a liner lock, and slapped a flipper stud, I'd be like, I'll buy the copper one right here, right now. But this, this is it's just a little too small. Wait a minute. What it's, did it's, you say? it's a slip joint, and it has no flipper stud in the If back. they made it larger, with a liner lock and slap a flipper, it'd be a different knife. It would be the. It would not be a different <laughs> knife. It'd be the same exact design. Just liner a lock, different. slap the flipper stud on it, and it was bigger. A little bigger. I ain't want to just make it in blue and put a put a charade logo on because it. Because I'm still <laughs> wanting it in the black hand rubbed copper, and I still want it to look like this handle and the blade. Mm -hmm. I just want it longer and lockable. Let's and just be honest. It'd be a different knife be a different price. Under Civivi, it'd That's be a different sure. knife. I consider it the same thing if it looked similar. Just as long as they don't do the Foldus 9. I'm all right. <laughs> They're going to stop at the Foldus 1. I think I it's a pretty assure. nice little knife. I don't like slip joint. To me, slip joint serves absolutely no purpose. You can put the comments it down works, below. It works better like that. <laughs> I'm not saying it's not fidget friendly. You could definitely sit on the couch and do this forever if you wanted to, but you want to be able to cut with it, right? I feel like with a knife, you wouldn't be able to cut with it and not cut your fingers, so... Ah, you know what? What do you need fingers for anyway? I don't know. Yeah, you probably just throw like Doc Prescott. All right. Just go without fingers. So, that was our final carry this week. Make sure to like... Are we going to do the picking the one we like the best? We can if you want. Oh, do boy. You, you want to pick the one you yeah, like the best? To. Make sure to like, share, <laughs> comment, and subscribe, as well as ring the bell. That way you help support our channel and get automatically entered into giveaways. I choose this knife right here. <laughs> yeah, it belongs somebody else. <laughs> I know. Make sure to enter to win this new Jason Perry Model 204. You can also enter by becoming an AK member or answering the Week 3 AK trivia question. Yep. And please make sure to follow Jason Perry on Facebook and Instagram, as thanks for doing this collab 
giveaway. Right on. Details and links are in the description oh, below. Okay. Okay. So did you want to? Pick yeah, it? I'll do it. It's the it's the Boker yep. stag. I already know it that. It is. You know I, what? Yeah. I could use this thing for self defense. Just by throwing. Just throw it? it at him. Yeah, that's yep. great. There it is. I'm gonna go with the elementum too. Are you really? Yeah, I like. Wow. I think it's just compared to everything else. This is the best knife on the table, in my opinion. That's yeah, like the police the searching for stud. a dead body. It's got the flipper Scraping stud. Scraping the bottom. It's got the button lock. <laughs> it's a great size. <laughs> I it's, like it too. It's nice, but it's but I don't, I don't it's really like the boker. The boker's just not my style. Man, that, that is some 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 pig. Some pig, right? There. I don't it's think it's got that's, personality. No, too. it doesn't. Mm -hmm. There's no person. Yes, it does. With that, I'm seeing this is Joel, just Joel. Yep, and we're signing off. reach in there and get my wallet. What does it say? Ann! Would you stop talking? Damn. You're the one that's got an eyelash in your eye. Jeez. We'll, we'll go when Joel's ready. Mm-hmm. Is everybody ready? I'm going. Tell her I'm good and ready.